In this video, I'd like to take a look at the ASP image control and the ASP hyperlink control. So I've gone into my admin folder and I've created uh, a default page. And this default page is linked to the master page that we created earlier. And I've set the content for the head to the admin site and just welcome to this admin page. So if I view it in a browser, it looks like this. Notice right away that my image is broken. And my image is broken because master page says it's in the .css folder, it's logo.png. So when we're out here as an unauthenticated user, it's saying go into the CSS folder and then inside the CSS folder, it's logo.png, so it works fine. But when we're inside of another folder, it says go into dot the CSS folder. There's not a CSS folder inside of admin. So if I wanted to make this work here, I would have to do dot dot, which means go up a level. So I'm inside the admin folder, go up a level to root, and then go into CSS, and then find logo.png. And so it'll work now. But the problem is when I go to just the regular default page for unauthenticated users, uh, well, it should have broken. I don't know if I've got a refresh issue or what. Um, but it's, it's this notion of moving up and down folders with the dot and the dot dot that causes us problems. So if we replace the regular image control with an ASP image control, again, we can give it an, a unique ID. Uh, we can call it uh, logo. We can specify a height. And we can tell it where to go find the image. Now when we do this, notice it starts with a tilde. So the tilde is really useful with ASP controls because the tilde just says, always go to root. So no matter where we're at, how many folders deep we are, tilde says go back to root and then go into the CSS folder and then find logo. So we could be three or four deep and we're always, because of this tilde, gonna go back to root. So it's a way to have a predictable path uh, to our images. Now when we save everything up, uh, it should work both as a default admin and then it should work as just the unauthenticated default. which it's doing. Our other link uh, problem that we have will be the hyperlinks. So right now, if I click on home, it takes me to the unauthenticated users default. If I click on view all states, it takes me to the um, unauthenticated users view states. And if I click admin, it takes me inside of the admin folder to the default page. Now, if I click home, it takes me to the admin default instead of the unauthenticated users default. And if I click view all states, it takes me to the admin view all states. So I probably wanna clean these up uh, and have them pointing to predictable places. Uh, and I'm going to do that with hyperlink controls. So I'm gonna get back into the master page and I'm going to replace these With, hyper, with ASP hyperlinks. Okay, I can see it's an ASP hyperlink now. I'll 
set it to home. And then I'm going to jump out. Uh, let's see. Let's give this link home as a unique ID. And now I'm going to jump out to the design view to make the modifications. Navigate URL. I'm in the root. I'm choosing default. Now, if I look at it, it's tilde default. So no matter where I'm at when I click it, it will take me back as the unauthenticated users into that default page. And now that I've got the tags, I can just copy it and paste it. So now when I'm here and I click home, it takes me to the unauthenticated users home. When I click view all states, it takes me to the unauthenticated users view all states. And then when I click admin, it takes me into the admin folder. If I'm in the admin folder and I click view all states, it'll take me back out. Again, it's using that tilde and tilde says no matter where you are, go to root and then go into the different folders that you need to go. So. ASP image controls and ASP hyperlinks uh, will go a long way to keep your page from breaking.